Sure. Uh, three, three ugly goals, two for us, one for them. Um, three that came out of not a lot. And in, in a game like this, um, in a game this scrappy on a Sunday, that's probably how they go. And um, it was nice. You know, the first goal was Chloe being brave. We played in a dangerous ball across the box, and she just came on the diagonal and beat her defender to it. Didn't get much on it, but it just trickles into the goal because if you frame it, you're running directly into the goal. Um, we talk about it all the time. It's one of the things we're trying to get Chloe to be better at. And then the second one um, is, is one of my favorite goals. It was just Emma. We played a ball over the top, which is very, very difficult for the defender when they're running toward their own goal. Emma was essentially 1v2 and just pressed it and got in between and they got sandwiched between the goalkeeper and it just popped out in her in her favor. I think when you make efforts like that, the ball is going to fall your way once in a while. And so it was a, it was a great effort by her. They, uh, they play a lot of balls into the channels and I thought we did an excellent job of defending it for most of the game. They're trying to isolate their uh, you know, Herman, Herman Award finalist against a center back, and they were. And uh, I think nine times out of 10 this game, we were in a good position. Um, you know, if she gets isolated against most center backs, she's probably gonna make something happen. G did fine, G did fine. She, she made her go to the end line. They pulled the ball back. We had numbers in the box, but there was a, they were very committed too. So there was kind of like a collision in the box. Um, one of their players against three of ours and the ball just kind of popped out to, the, to one of their like late arriving runners who, who tucked it home. So um, it was a well earned goal by them. You know, obviously we'd like to do a little bit better on the cross, but you put balls into dangerous areas, those things kind of tend to happen. Yeah, um, we scored early in both halves. You know, the 2 0 felt pretty comfortable. Um, like it wasn't like 2 0 when we were on our defending the whole time. It felt pretty comfortable, and they scored that one a little bit even play against the run of play, and then the last 15, 20 minutes were a nightmare. Um, they showed why they're champions. They showed why they win a lot of games. I mean, they were four, one, and one. One loss against Nebraska on the road, one tie against Wisconsin. You know, um, they're gonna, they're, I'd be really surprised if they didn't win their conference. And uh, what I told the team, their team, our team, is if we're ever losing a goal, which thankfully we haven't been <laughs> this year, I want us to press the issue like they pressed the issue against us. Now, could we have done better? Yes, absolutely. Um, three, four, five moments. Um, we had numbers on breaks. Uh, we had time and space, and we just made poor slash losing plays. But again, like I have as much respect for this team as I as I have for any opponent we've played in a long time. They um, they made our kids see ghosts. You know, they pressed so consistently for 90 minutes that our players, when they had time and space, just assumed someone was coming to challenge them and and and, and rush things. Um, so it, we didn't see it out very well at all. Um, but like to go earn a victory against this kind of team, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to walk away upset at all. It's a great game. So I was grumpy the other day. Um, I don't think we played particularly well here, but like, that's because that's what they do to you. And we're about to play Bowling Green defending three time or six time defending Mac champion. If you don't, if you count their doubles and the one thing that they do is they out physical their opponents. And so, um, this was a, <laughs> that game, um, is going to be similar to this one and we have to be ready for that. And some teams in our conference are going to spread it out and knock the ball around. And some are going to come press you and, and ask you to fight. And we've got to be able to win both kinds of games.